Hello, my name is Joyce, and I was diagnosed in March 2004 with lobular breast cancer stage 3A. I'll never forget the words from my doctor a few days after my core biopsy. I was doing errands, and my breast surgeon called me and said, Well, Joyce, they did find some cancer cells. My world stopped. I thought about my four children and my seven grandchildren. I thought the worst right off the bat. I went home and sat in a fetal position on the floor and cried and cried. I felt ashamed that I was not a very brave person at all, but I really didn't care. No one could comfort me. I was beside myself, and I would wake up in the middle of the night with bad dreams, hoping that this whole thing was really just a nightmare. I then went in for a consultation with the best breast surgeon I could find. He told me that based on my biopsy and mammograms and sonograms, I had some choices to make. He said I could have a lumpectomy or a mastectomy, or I could elect to have a bilateral mastectomy. All of this happened so quickly I was reeling at the thought of making these decisions. All I could think of was getting it out of me. I opted for the bilateral mastectomy. The day after my surgery, my doctor informed me that I had made a good call, as the cancer had already spread into my lymph nodes and into the other breast. This is when I lost it again. My poor daughter was brought in to see if she could calm me down. I remember her going through the yellow pages of the phone book, trying to find some therapist or magician that could ease my worries. Two or three psychotherapists called me at her beckoning. After they very kindly introduced themselves to me, my response was, have you had breast cancer or any lymph node involvement? They all said no. I said, I'm very sorry, but I can't talk to you. I, I need to talk with someone who's been as sick or sicker than me. Within an hour or so, the phone rang. When I answered it, a calm, kind voice of a woman on the other end said, Joyce, I'm a breast cancer survivor. She went on to tell me that she had been a survivor for 10 beautiful years. She also told me that she had not five lymph nodes involved, but 10. I began to breathe again. I didn't know who this angel was, but she turned my head around so that I could literally take a deep breath. I thought if she had all of this, then I might certainly make it too. I felt a big rush of comfort and joy. This lady was from a program called Reach for Recovery. This is one of the many programs that Relay for Life supports from the American Cancer Society. I am grateful to this day to that lady that I will never know. She stepped into my life at a very critical time and allowed me to positively start living again and to reach for my own recovery. It's been almost 11 years, and I now have 12 grandchildren. Thank you, Relay, for making this happen.